We start off today's video at rank 10 on the league points leaderboards with 63,720 points. Now we want to get some of the very long grind master toss out of the way today that should hopefully climb us thousands of points and get us up on that leaderboard even more places. Let's get into it. So in pretty much one sitting I am deciding to get some of my skilling 25 mils out the way and for some reason I decided to start with runecrafting. So we've gone from 13 mil XP to almost 25 mil in six to seven hours for just a short little clip that goes to show some of the hours I put in for just these little clips. And that's why the videos are taking longer to make at this stage because there's just not that much content left to do and it is very, very long grinds. But it's something I have to do and honestly at this point it is a very time efficient task. Six or seven hours for 250 points is really good. This gets me my rank 10 back as well because as I was sleeping, someone took me over. But not that big a deal because we're about to get it back and there's more tasks we can do. I'm also at 21.5 mil farming and I will get that today just after doing a couple runs so I'll be another 250 points right there. One more run of this and I am officially at 25 mil runecrafting. Never have to touch the skill again, there's no other things we need runecrafting for. So there we go, 25 mil runecraft XP obtained, putting me over 64,000 points for the first time, 64,220 points. We take those. Today's video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a VPN service that allows you to stay as safe and secure as possible on the internet. Using ExpressVPN allows you to mask your IP address when you browse the internet, which can keep you protected from DDoS attacks. I'm currently competing in the Trailblazer League, and time is money. Using ExpressVPN means I never get hit offline grinding in this competition and never lose time due to that. They use the highest standards of encryption currently available, and it would take a hacker using a supercomputer billions of years to crack. I use it all the time when using Netflix, as in New Zealand, the office isn't available. But ExpressVPN changes all that. With a simple click of a button, I can change my country to the US, and there the office is. There are thousands more of different shows and movies that you can access using ExpressVPN. So find out how you can get 3 months free by clicking the link in the description box below, or going to expressvpn.com slash jittabitter. Once again, a big thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Now this magic tree died. Our other four live though. We're currently at 22.5 mil farming XP. We're just gonna just do a couple more runs and that should get us to 25 mil. I also have a bunch of fruit trees and mahoganies planted. So we probably already have like 25 mil just in our inventory. Okay, a dragon fruit tree. Let's see how much XP that gives. A nice little 277k. Okay, and this is our fruit tree run as well. I'm not sure when our mahoganies are gonna grow, but we're at 23.2 mil XP already. So literally just our next run should get us 25 mil. And if not, we have those mahoganies anyway. I don't know how to do mass, but I'm pretty sure we're almost there. All right, first elite casket of the day. We're just trying to get the gain unique items, 250 point toss. I don't think we're gonna try and fill the log. It's a little bit too much effort. What are we getting? A uh, bronze dragon mask and a Hasidious scarf. I'm going to assume the Hasidious scarf is uh, unique, but we still haven't completed 25 uniques yet. All right, another elite casket. Thank you very much, Father Eric. Um, bucket helm, nice. Unholy blessing and a deer stalker hat, very nice. And that is fill 10. Oh, I haven't even done that yet. Fill 10 elite clue collection log slots, which is 100 points right there, putting me up to 64,320. Hard casket as well. Uh, for room plate legs and some other stuff, I don't know. Alright, my final tree of my magic and palm trees to check. I'm on 24.8 mil XP. This gets me to 24.9 mil. I could plant trees, I could do this or that. And I am 24k away from 25 mil farming. Um, I could just wait for my mahoganies to grow, but it's like 24k XP. I'll just go do something real quick to get it. Okay, looks like I had a bunch of dwarf wheat already planted. And actually on my last harvest right there, that gives me 25 million farming XP. Putting me up to 64,000. 570 points gonna hit the relog real quick because I'm pretty sure this cements me as rank 9 Yes, it does. We are a couple hundred points above rank 10 from now on. Okay, and this is another elite casket Let's bang it open and we didn't get a single unique from that Bruh uh, another hard casket um some supports and shit Another casket of the hard variety Oh uh, white cavalier and sorry to plate legs cool Hard casket. Oh uh, nothing elite caskets and that is gained 25 unique items from an elite casket. Finally, we've got it done. 250 points, putting us up to 64,820. Nice. And this is my 1,000th ticket at the Brimhaven course. It is a master task to get 1,000 tickets and hand it in for XP for 500 points. Now, every ticket I get takes a minute to get because there's only one ticket per minute. So that's over 12 hours I've spent here at Brimhaven Agility doing this task. And it's all for just one clip. So that is the amount of time I'm putting into some of these tasks and some of these points for you guys. But there we go. I've been working at it all day. And this is my 1,000th ticket. 
Let's go cash it in for these 500 points. Okay, and we're now gonna cash it in. I think it's trade, and let's make sure I don't fuck this up. Experience, 1,000 tickets. And that is a master toss completed, putting me to 65,320 points. Probably the longest master task I have to do. Okay, and that is the medium Western Promises diary done. That's the most I can do out of this diary because of the region restrictions. It gives me 50 points, putting me at 65,370. This also means I can get some XP lamps, but the biggest thing is it's going to help out in getting the chompies. And there we go. We've just been camping the granite shield drop really quickly because it is a free 50 points that weren't available before. Let's pick this shit up, toss it on, and that is a medium task completed. 65,420 points now. Okay, and I am on the chompy grind. It's 4,000 chompy kills to get 1250 points, 250 points from getting 2,250, and another 500 points from getting 4,000 kills. Now, we actually started the league with 1,000 kills due to a Jagex glitch, so it's only like 3,000 kills I actually have to get, which is still tens of hours of work to do. I've just hit 3,000 kills. It's, pre it's pretty chill. It's just a whole lot of time, so it is, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of time, but this plus the Apatol laps, which I've almost finished, will get me close to 67,000 points from 65,420. It's definitely very worth it. I had to do it eventually. It's just some very hard master tasks that I had to get out of the way. I'll be back with you guys when we are at 4,000 kills. Also, this chompy kills per hour would be a lot higher if I had the hard diary done and the elite diary done, but I can't do that without the tier one region. So that's just another way that, that, that those regions are more overpowered than mine. But it is what it is. We're gonna keep carrying on and trying to get as many kills as possible. But this is just another grind that has taken me basically a full day to do along with Brimhaven yesterday to get these points. It is really getting into the late game where I'm doing 16 hour grinds for, you know, just a one minute clip of me getting 500 or so points. We're currently at 39,994 39, points. My brain is a little bit fried. I woke up. I've just been planting toads, shooting birds. It's arm all over again, but it's almost over. Six more kills to go. And we'll be able to get the two hats for 750 points. We're also going to finish up Apatol. We've been working on that since pretty much day one. Just getting those 2,000 laps. Like doing a couple hundred laps every now and then. Just slowly chipping away at it. That'll be another 500 points right there. So a lot of hard work in the past two days for Brimhaven this and finishing up Apatol. But it's all worth it. It all helps us climb that later board. So I have no issues. And we now have maybe four more kills or so. And that is our 4,000th Chompy kill. Never have to kill one again. We are now an expert dragon archer or something. I don't know. I think we were already an expert dragon archer. What changed? Um. Oh, I was an expert ogre dragon archer. Okay, I have no idea what the difference is. Uh, let's go talk to Rance, which is... Oh my god, where is he in comparison to where I am? He's hella far away. But uh, let's go talk to Rance and we can go get our hats. We're going to wait until we finish Apatol to actually claim in the points. Because going up 1250 points at once would be pretty cool. So it is. So good luck I'm dit is no more. I've just changed my name to JM who is 73 because we are now looking at rank 7 JW, JMW7 and we are looking to take a spot. Let's transform this into the princely monkey I guess it is. Does that do it anything? Does that, is that not the master task? Oh I have to wear it. Okay. That probably makes more sense. And then wear this and that and that is two, a master task and a late task. We just went from whatever points we were on to 66,670 points with the RSN JM who is 73. We are 80 points away from him and we're gonna get that right now and take him over. And that my friends is 25 mil crafting which gets me to 66,920 points. Gets me tied rank seven with Maz who also has the same amount of points. It knocks JMW 73, or no, that's my name. It knocks JMW seven down to rank nine and I take his spot on the leaderboards with the RSN JM who 73. Okay, we finally got a small and rich bone on our third attempt because we couldn't poke the thingies quick enough. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about when I talk about this place because I didn't even know it existed. But uh, we can now get our 50 points from using this on something. I don't know what exactly I'm meant to do actually. Uh, the strange machine. Okay, and I think this is it. This must be the strange machine. Okay, and that is a medium task done. We probably should have got done ages ago. 50 points putting me at 66,970. We're gonna go do another easy or medium task, which is equip mithril gloves. We need to go quest that out. Okay, this is freeing scratch whoever the what now, and I think I've done enough quests to get myself myth gloves. I hope I have. Okay, and it is where mithril gloves will be another 50 points, putting us back at rank seven as JMW did take us over while we were sleeping. 
I now want to solidify my rank 7 spot a little bit more, so I'm going to go kill Zuck three more times to get 5kc, which is 250 points. Alright, so we are going for the 5 Infernos as a free 250 points. That's also one of the most point efficient tasks at this point in the game. Now you may notice in the bottom of my inventory, I have a Granite Maul and no MSB. Now I'm trying to be an innovator. I'm trying to prove I can do what the PVMers can't. Well, obviously they can do it much better than I. But for the Ranger set on Zuck, I'm actually just going to try and one hit it with the Gmall spec and spec relic. As I get 5 instant hits, I think the Ranger has around 160 HP. So with the, with the RNG I should get, I should basically one hit the Ranger on each side in every set. I think it could go pretty nice, not gonna lie, so we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, first we gotta beat triples and stuff like that of course, but I think that should be pretty fine. And then we'll see how the Zuck goes. And if we can do it well, we're gonna do two more so we get those 250 points. Currently at 67,000. And we're trying to climb for that rank 5 position. Alright, we've made it to single Jad and we have a bunch of supplies, so this should go fine, I'm hoping. Um... Maybe a little bit too many supplies, to be honest, so we'll see how it goes. Gmall there. Drink this Restore. Nice rhubarb off the start. We take those. Gmall. Did it work? Oh my god, it worked. Okay, hit that and run. Huh, <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Jesus Christ. That, uh, bro, I'm a beast. I'm actually smart as fuck, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, my shield took a little bit of damage from the mage because I was panicking over that working, but... I think I should be good to hit this under 600 now, too, if I just get uh, some good hits. Yeah, we should be able to hit it under 600. My timer's at 1 minute 30. With Jad, that gives me over 3 minutes. Okay, we can do that, easily. Okay, that's a nice hit. It's instant tag. Don't think I can rush... what's it called here? healers, but I can get it close to 240, which is fine. Okay, well that's it down anyway, regardless. So we're good. <laughs> that was quick as fuck, I wasn't even potted for that. Okay, nice. Just eat up a little bit. Okay, and this was pretty much cake. The Gmall really did come through clutch, not gonna lie. The Gmall meta has been invented for the Inferno. You heard it here first. Oh fuck. Okay, we're chilling there. Okay, and that is our third KC. Nice. 85 minutes because we were chilling a little bit, not gonna lie. It was a very slow time. But, the Gmall meta does work, and that is another Infernal Cape. Two more of these to go. Should be good, we're back at Zuck again. Let's do this. Gmall. 900 under 600. I think we can still do it. Our hits at the start were ship. These are good. These are very good. Is that under 600? One more. Maybe one more. Okay, nice. Long range to finish it. Okay, we're fine. Gmall. Okay, not the hits we wanted, not gonna lie. I think that should kill it. Nice. Dead. Okay. We're all good to start. Okay. Nice. Okay, 320 HP to do, we can do this. Okay, a bit of a slow one due to- okay, we're not done, never mind. Bit of a slow one due to a misplaced heat tag of the healers, but that puts our KC to 4, one more for 250 points. A very slow time out of map- oh wait, what? Uh, 68 minutes, that was actually a lot quicker than the last one. I guess the waves were a lot quicker, but suck was very, very slow. One more to do. Okay, 95 HP, 99 HP, okay, perfect. We do love ourselves an SGS, and we are back on Zuck again. Alright, let's go. Not the greatest start. Not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Complain and get a rhubarb. Nice. Any back-to-back -back rhubarbs? No. 
Uh, wait for this to shoot. Honestly, we probably might kill it before then. I think that's dead. Alright, well, didn't need the GM all this time. Got some nice RNG. We take those. Save specs for this. Okay. Bruh. Okay, that's under 600. Okay, that should be Jad. Instant target. Nice. Alright, nice. Be more. Nice. Double hit. Okay. Gonna eat up as we run and then go for the hit in this corner. Nice. Perfect. HP. Just tag the major, maybe. Come on. The ranger can't kill us before I kill it, right? Surely not. Surely not. Come on, 7 HP. Okay, nice. I was actually really scared the ranger would kill that shield, but I think I played that fine. And that is 250 points for completing the Inferno five times. And a new PB of 62.25. And with that Inferno completion giving us another 250 points, we solidify our rank 7 spot with 270 more points than JMW7. At this stage, it is extremely hard to climb lots of ranks in a short amount of time, so going from rank 10 to 7 is quite an achievement. It gets even harder at this point as it is now very clear that the other region choices are much more overpowered than mine for both total points and points per hour, but I'll save that complete explanation for another video if you guys are interested. I appreciate all the support you guys have been leaving on this videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.